when talking about food, organic refers to produ produce or ingredients that are grown without the use of pesticides, uh, genetically um, modified organisms, or any type of synthetic fertilizers. Also, animals that produce meat, poultry, or dairy products are not given any kind of antibiotics or growth hormones. Many people believe that these types of foods are healthier and have more nutritional value to them. While there's no definitive research that makes this claim, there are some studies that have shown that certain organic products contain a higher nutritional value. For me personally, when it comes to food, price is a really important factor. So when it comes to foods like fruits and vegetables that are already healthy and have a high nutritional value, I don't really find the need to pay for its more expensive counterpart. Now it's time for actual story and we had Alexis helping us out. Let's take you straight into it. We've got four parts from the response to go over. And she says, when talking about food, organic refers to produce or ingredients that are grown without the use of pesticides. So we're talking about produce or all different kinds of ingredients that are grown without pesticides. The point is without, with none, nada without pesticides or any type of synthetic fertilizers. Synthetic could mean chemical, okay? Um, well, fertilizers. So we went over pesticides and fertilizers. So she's saying, well, basically when you say organic, we're saying that they are grown without the use of pesticides or fertilizers, which is true. Animals that produce meat or poultry, we're talking about, uh, birds, such as chicken or dairy products, are not given any kind of antibiotics or growth hormones. Okay, what about antibiotics? Antibiotics, often pronounced as antibiotics. The T is hardly heard sometimes, antibiotics. We're talking about something that is used to kill bacteria, for example, hangzengde in Korean. So animals, okay, that produce meat, even chicken, okay, chickens, they're not given antibiotics or growth hormones. None of these, no. And um, here, moving on, for me personally, when it comes to food, price is really important factor. Okay, price is a very important factor. And finally, when it comes to food like fruits and vegetables, she says, I don't really find the need to pay for its more expensive counterpart. So she doesn't really think it's necessary to pay much more for fruits or vegetables. Okay, well, we all have our own ideas and opinions, right? Job well done. Let's take a listen one more time. When talking about food, organic refers to produ produce or ingredients that are grown without the use of pesticides, uh, genetically um, modified organisms, or any type of synthetic fertilizers. Also, animals that produce meat, poultry, or dairy products are not given any kind of antibiotics or growth hormones. Many people believe that these types of foods are healthier and have more nutritional value to them. While there's no definitive research that makes this claim, there are some studies that have shown that certain organic products contain a higher nutritional value. For me personally, when it comes to food, price is a really important factor. So when it comes to foods like fruits and vegetables that are already healthy and have a high nutritional value, I don't really find the need to pay for its more expensive counterpart. Yes, people are very careful about what they eat because there even is that saying, um, you are what you eat, meaning that the food you eat 
okay, is very, very important. It makes you who you are in terms of health. So the healthier foods you eat, the healthier you will be. Okay, I hope that you learned a lot through today's lesson. We talked about organic ingredients and products. Uh, next time we'll move on to viewers choice five and talk about accessories. Something that's quite light and fun to talk about, accessories. Okay, please do tune in for that. In the meantime, feel free to join us at our homepage. Come on over to www.ebse.co.kr. Look for Actual English with Jennifer. And as always, feel more than free to post up your messages on our message board. Uh, you'll see comments and feedback, questions posted up by many of our viewers and very supportive messages as well. And I do want to take a moment to thank all of you for being very supportive and so sweet. Okay, so please do come by to leave us some messages. And also, um, once you're there, check out our scripts that are uploaded on our homepage as well. Okay, that is a wrap for today's lesson. Please do join me again for our next one. Okay, in the meantime, take care and, well, until I see you again, take care and bye for now. Bye, everyone.